second umbilical now retracting. This initiates the auto sequence start for engine ignition. Second umbilical tau separate. Engine turbo pump set flight. Engine ignition, turbo pumps coming up to flight speed and liftoff. Lift off. Lift off of Soyuz MS-19 with an actress and her producer beginning a journey to the International Space Station. Separation. You reported. And first stage separation confirmed. 762 is the pressure in the thermal control of uh, copy nominal. The vehicle stability is. Good vehicle stability reported from the blockhouse in Baikonur. The Soyuz 29 miles in altitude, 35 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome, traveling almost 5,000 miles an hour. seconds into flight. And we have second stage separation. Soyuz travel. 330 seconds of flight. Third stage uh, performance reported to be normal as we hit the 5 minute 46 second mark into the flight. Three minutes of powered flight remaining. Seven minutes, 46 seconds into the flight. One minute of powered flight remaining. Get ready to for separation. Five twenty seconds of flight. And third stage shutdown is confirmed, and spacecraft separation. Confirm. Third stage separate. Next step will be the uh, deployment of the uh, solar arrays that you now see unfurling. We now have confirmation of the uh, deployment of the solar arrays and the navigational antennas as planned. A veteran Russian actress, a veteran Russian producer-director, and a veteran Russian cosmonaut are in the express lane of the orbital highway to the International Space Station, bearing down on the outpost for an arrival 42 minutes from now. This view now from a camera on the Soyuz spacecraft, the engineering overlay showing uh, the data that is also being interpreted by the Russian flight controllers in Korolyov. Soyuz just one kilometer away. D11 is on. Once again, uh, some unexpected communications issues in the home stretch of uh, what had been a clean and flawless rendezvous by the Soyuz 
following its launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The final approach uh, took a bit longer than usual as Anton Shkaplerov took over manual control of the flying of the Soyuz for the final few meters. Uh, station keeping at one point, aligning uh, the Soyuz docking probe with the Rosviet module, finally pushing in on final approach for contact and capture at 7.22 a.m. Central Time, 8.22 a.m. Eastern Time. 30.45 is the time. Uh, no, 15, we, we hear you to be more well. exact. So Kazakhstan, event. almost four hours is after the Soyuz MS-19 launched to the International Space Station, culminating a two-orbit rendezvous. Just a few minutes behind schedule as Anton Shkaplerov took over manual control of the flying of the Soyuz due to some communications issues in the home stretch of the approach uh, for the contact and capture to the Rosviet module. All of that uh, ultimately successful with docking occurring at 7.22 a.m. Central Time, 8.22 a.m. Eastern Time as the Soyuz and the International Space Station flew 260 miles just north of the Philippine Islands. The uh, docking probe was retracted to form a hard mate, hooks closed on both sides of the docking interface, and leak checks at that docking interface will take place a short time from now that will lead uh, to the opening of the hatches, enabling uh, Shkaplerov, Russian actress Yulia Parasild, and her producer, director Klim Shapenko, to enter the international outpost for 12 days of movie making.